Hundreds dead. Thousands infected across multiple continents. It's a thin line that divides East from West Jerusalem, but viruses know no borders. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. The year 2020 has indeed been one of the most challenging years around the world. While the year started well with Israel leading the way in the battle against the coronavirus, the second half of the year Israel was challenged with one of the highest infection rates around the world. Nevertheless, in this year of crisis, the Lord opened amazing opportunities to bless the Jewish people like never before. Whether it was to bring them back to their homeland or to unite believers from around the world in prayer for Israel or even to celebrate the largest feast of tabernacles, you have been with us in this critical time. Now let's have a look what the Lord did through the ICEJ in 2020. When travel became far more challenging or was halted completely, the ICEJ was still able to help fulfill biblical prophecy through Aliyah. In fact, Aliyah did not decrease, but only increased as we welcomed 1,475 new Jewish immigrants home to Israel from across the globe. While so many were isolated in their homes during seasons of lockdown, the ICEJ was still able to meet critical needs. This year, as we partnered with you, we helped provide 55,000 meals, 2,500 essential packages and items, and more than 100 computers for distance education. Holocaust survivors represented one of the most vulnerable groups during the pandemic, but the residents of the Haifa home were in good hands as staff worked to make sure they had food, essential supplies, and encouragement. For these residents, the encouragement from volunteers became very important as it was the only personal contact they had while staying safe at home. As each of you personally faced the global pandemic, the ICEJ was able to host regular online prayer gatherings that blessed and connected many people around the world. The coronavirus threatened to cancel the Feast of Tabernacle celebration this year, but with God's help, we were able to impact more people than ever before as we connected with over 100 nations for the first ever online feast celebration. This year we have seen that God's world never fails. Even in the midst of this crisis year, God continued to bring his people back to their homeland and he will continue to protect and to provide for them. But also for each one of us, as this new year starts, he will be faithful to each one of our needs. And no matter what challenges or changes 2021 might bring to us, we know the one whose world and character never changes. And we all want to invite you to stand with us as we continue to be your embassy right here in Jerusalem.